Once again, Eva has made dude. It's I I just assume it's Firebase. Once again, oh yeah, it was of course it was Firebase. It says right in the subtitling. I don't know what it is, but how is Firebase? How is Firebase even usable when every single time it's like the root of a just gigantic problem? Oh, what are you? Yeah, also uh, yeah yeah. But f Cat Swain, <laughs> poor Cat Swain. Uh, but seriously, how is Firebase even legal? When you start Firebase, if you started a new project and started using Firebase, the FBI should kick in your door. Like at this point, it's wild that we've gotten to this point. That's just like, oh, what's today? What's today? And it's yet another one. Uh, yet another day where F- Firebase has caused a problem, right? Arch users and Firefox at the moment, yeah. Uh, but it's first on Google. This just goes to show that search results are fundamentally broken. This is also like the whole future of, of LLMs telling you how to get started on things and how they're going to be super biased towards one set of things. And it could like, it could literally put us into a decade of fighting to get out of really terrible stuff, right? Like that is, that is a possible future. Anyways. All right, let's get started. Uh, this started when I was looking into cursor an AI text editor. Also, I use Lulu by object C on my laptop. So when I downloaded the cursor installer, I got this pop-up install cursor is connecting to download toaddesktop.com. Now, what the hell is Toad Desktop or uh, Toad? I keep writing, reading it as Toad's Top. It's to Desktop. I thought I was downloading Cursor. Well, looking at their website, they seem to be uh, seem to be an Electron app bundling service alongside providing an SDK for Electron apps. You know, Electron apps, the only thing that have used more energies than LLMs. All right, and caused more ha- heart eggs. Oh, let's see. So it appears the installer I downloaded is actually managed by 2Desktop, not Cursor. This made me curious, and I made an account on 2Desktop to look into it. And when I clicked the GitHub login button, I saw my calling, Firebase. <laughs> it's just like, if there is a site with Firebase, there's a vulnerability. Can you imagine being the creator and owner of Firebase right now and realizing that you that you have created more vulnerabilities than almost anybody else? Crazy. Uh, basic Firebase Recon. Realizing the app used Firestore, Firebase is no squeal database that is often used in front end. I quickly opened my dev tools and began doing basic recon on Firebase. I realized that the site has source maps. <laughs> hey, thanks, site, which made searching for all the Firestore paths used in the app even easier. It's still, e- it's still easy without source maps usually. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks, buddy. Uh, then I found an insecure collection, temporary applications, which seemed to give a n- name list of applications. Edit. Two Desktop has clarified this collection has no sensitive data and has been, uh, hasn't been updated since 2022. But not much other than that. Everything seemed secure on the Firebase other than this. I then noticed that most of the deployment and general logic happens in the terminal with the NPM package to Desktop CLI. So I installed that and started looking into it. Bum, bum, bum. Is this where the narrator comes in? And this, my friends, is where it all went wrong. The CLI manages uh, deployments, source code uploads, and much more. The website just seems to be a shell to create applications, view deployments, etc., etc. I was once again lucky that the CLI had source maps, so I used Source Mapper to extract them into a source tree. Is it if it's JavaScript? Is it not open source, or is the CLI uh, the to desktop must be a non-open source CLI tool. Is that what that is? I would feel very uncomfortable using this. It just feels very uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Non-open source. Some uh, some some call it closed source. That's a very reasonable. Yes, the CLI isn't open source to my knowledge. Ha. Huh. That just feels uncomfortable. Looking in there, I found an arbitrary S3 upload vulnerability via a Firebase cloud function called get signed URL, but I didn't really have an S3 key file path to upload to that would do something interesting. So I kept looking, hijacking the deployment pipeline via the post install script, a classic post install script. Also just the world's largest in like security oopsie here. Like this just feels so unsafe. Every time I see that thing execute, I wanted to get on my machine where the application gets built. And the easiest way to do this w- uh, would be a post install script in the package just on. So I did that with a simple reverse shell payload. This worked navigating around the container. I figured out where the actual code building application lives and found this config prod JSON encrypted. Oh, fuck. This usually means something bad. I found the code for decrypting this uh, file. And this is what I got after <laughs> the code. The, the keys are just in the code. Man, this is encrypted with super safe encryption, which is also written in JavaScript and available for you to look at. <laughs> Damn, 
That's crazy. That's crazy. Ah, yes. Let's do encryption on the front end. Dude, that's that's wild. Okay, well. what? Are, Eva, have you turned into Camacho, President Camacho? For those that don't know the reference. President Camacho's. Uh, President, uh, President uh, Camacho uh, speech. There we go. Chill out. Chill out. Shit. <laughs> is that is this who we're taking cues from? Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, this container store secrets. Looking around in the container more, I found hard coded Firebase admin key, which is uh, which was full scope. Damn. Best. Uh, let's see. Post exploitation. I quickly realized that with the credentials I have, I could deploy an auto update to any app of my liking, having clients receive it immediately when they restart the app. Then I made some code to use my credentials to deploy an update to my app, and it worked. Immediately got an update on my client and got RCE. Let's go. Let's go. Who doesn't love remote code execution? Give me all of your API keys. I'm going to make so much money off my open API. Let's talk about the impact. With this, I could push auto updates to all applications using two desktops such as ClickUp, Cursor, Linear, Notion Calendar. Please do not harass these companies or make it seem like it's their fault. It's not. It's two desktops' fault, if anything. Which... If I let's see, if I were to estimate, is probably a range of a hundreds of millions of people in tech environments, other hackers, programmers, executives, etc., making this exploit deadly if used. The fix: I immediately used my contacts to get in reach with the owner of two desktop. We were chatting via signal, and then the fix came almost immediately. They were nice enough to compensate me for my efforts, and were very nice in general. The, oh, by the way, hey, good move. Hey, two desktop, good move. Honestly, companies, if someone figures out how you've just made a massive exploit, reaches out to you on a secure channel such as Signal, chats with you and tells you exactly how it works, you should compensate the hell out of them because you know what? You want to encourage those people to keep doing it and doing nice things, okay? Because that's nice things. These are nice things, right? These are nice things and not getting totally owned and absolutely, just absolutely hand-boned. Dude, it's not, it's not a feature. It's, it's not a feature. Some people don't compensate, right? Like you're not encouraging people to... Uh, Keep doing this because this is just like, this is just crazy. Uh, the build container now has a privileged sidecar that does all the signing, uploading, and everything else instead of the main container with a user code having that logic. Security instances happen all the time. It's natural. What matters is the company's response, and Two Desktop's response has been awesome. They were very nice to work with. Check out the uh, Two Desktop's incident report here. Uh, for those wondering, in total, I got 5K for this vulnerability, which I don't blame Two Desktop for uh, because they're a really small company. Update Cursor, one of the affected cu uh, customers, is giving me 50K USD for my efforts. Hey, Cursor, good company, Cursor. Good job, Cursor. Yeah, because they obviously have access to pretty much everybody's repos, and the massive effect of that would be out of control, right? Absolutely out of control. Wait, Ktronics? Hold on. Everybody, stop the video. I've been watching, and I just realized I went to school with you. Which school? High school? Middle school? Or collage. Uh, do you think it's okay for a place like Notion just to use uh, third-party libraries without doing a fair amount of due, due diligence first? It's not like this was necessarily the most difficult vulnerability to find. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is if you're in the if you're in the um, if you're in the business of installing things on people's desktop and you're using closed source third-party software, you might want to take some auditing, right? Like this is why security teams exist, right? Uh, actually, getting five times the reward than uh, the guy who could find the email of uh, let's see of any Google user. Yeah, I'm actually now curious, but it's true. West High, dude, you went to Bill, you went to West High. Oh shoot, West High, uh, dude. 20, dude, our 20-year 20 high school, if you're on my grade, our 20-year high school reunion's coming up. That's crazy. I got to start a Facebook account so I can join the class reunion. Dude, I'm definitely going to the class reunion. Dude, I'm definitely going. That's so, that's some good times. Damn. Anyways, okay, that's crazy. Damn, when to my, my 40th is coming up? That's crazy. Hi, friend Prime. West High is best high. That's crazy. Uh, all right, uh, that's all. All right, have a good one. Uh, ask Laravel to borrow that Lambo. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to need to borrow Lambo. Get a quick Lambo in the chat, please. Quick Lambo in the chat. No, I actually want to do it. Can I, does anybody have an old ass car? I would love to arrive to my high school reunion in like just a jalopy. I want just an actual POS. You were a bully. Were you a bully? No, I was, I was most certainly not a bully. Um, anyways, all right, back to this. Um, this is incredible though. Hey, I, I do want to do specific callouts for cursor. That is like such a W move. 
to compensate somebody for a bug you didn't write, nor did you, like, you, I mean, technically, yeah, Cursor should, probably should have done the due diligence to figure all these things out. But nonetheless, it's actually quite amazing that they also were like, hey, you know what? We're so happy you made this fix. We're going to give you money as well. What a W. What a W company. If anything, the biggest takeaway from this is don't use Firebase. But the second lesser known takeaway is W Cursor. And the third, obviously, takeaway is that two desktops seems awesome to work, away, uh, work with. And obviously, the fourth takeaway would be you never go against a Sicilian when death is on the line, right? Everybody knows this. Man, it's it's shocking that this these kind of things still happen. It's also shocking to have something called encrypted, config prod JSON encrypted, that's just decryptable with the stuff you send down, right? Like that's, there's just something very, very funny about that. Just a, ser a seriously funny takeaway right there. All right, hey, the name. This is unfortunately so common. Uh, bro's never heard of TLS. Dude, I know. <laughs> I mean, there's so many things you can do, but that's probably not the right way of doing things. Anyways, the name. The name is use an endpoint to create a lot of things. You should not, don't, don't have local, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't look at the, don't look at the, don't, don't just send the whole farm down, okay? And if you do happen to send farm downs, you know what, maybe it's like scope your privileges, scope your tokens, okay? Okay? Come on. Whoever said that 50K is too much, I bet there are black hats who would pay way more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 50K, by the way, 50K is not too much. It would utterly destroy Cursor if it came out that their installation process allowed you to gain access to the people's code repos. It would hands down destroy Cursor. Cursor would never be looked at as a serious company again. Again. 